Hi, hi, one small welcome to the You Can Be Anything podcast. I'm your host, Solange Che. And as usual, it's been a fortnight. I have another amazing guest. It's what I do, right? So I need those two weeks so I can go around and fetch those people who come on here to share their experiences and share with you what they do, all with the goal to inspire you. Thank you so much for being a keen listener to the podcast. And I hope you get some great value out of this. Today, I have an amazing guest, a beautiful young woman. How did I get to know about her? I heard about her on Instagram. I was on Instagram doing my cruise and one of her satisfied clients actually was giving her a review, making a video. She had helped this girl's child with a skin issue that she was struggling with. And she came on IG and gave her a review. And I was like, wow. When she showed the before and after pictures of how she consulted with this guest and what she recommended and what her baby's body looks like today, I was so impressed and I was like, hey, I want to talk to this girl. This is somebody that will probably come help us, right? You know, as people say, it's not only about the makeup. You want to be able to take care of the skin before the makeup. So that's why today with us, I have Funken Dolly. Dolly is a skin expert based in Dubai. She consults with people on your skin issues helps you, gives you the advice, what is good for your skin, what is not good for your skin. And again, I'm not in the place to give the details on that, but that's why I'm honored to have Dolly here with us, who is going to talk to us more about this. Dolly, thank you so much for accepting my invitation. Welcome to my podcast. Thank you so much, Solange, for having me. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm very excited to be on here, and I just look forward to having a swell time with you chatting about skincare. I am obsessed about skincare. So, yeah, thank you so much. I'm honored. Thanks for accepting my invitation. So, yes, that is who I know Dolly to be. Tell, please tell the listeners who is Funka and Dolly. Um, to summarize it a little bit, I am a 20 something year old. <laughs> I'm married. I have three kids. I'm currently um, two, almost two months postpartum. That's like my biggest batch of honor that I wear. I'm a three times uh, I'm a three times back to back C-section mom. I had all my three kids in four years. Um, and yeah, uh, just a backstory focusing on skincare now, um, during my first, uh, having my first, uh, my daughter, um, I was shocked with the skin transformation that came with the entire pregnancy, you know, um, having her, what my skin looked like postpartum, the fact that my belly went like 10 shades darker than my normal skin tone. And then, um, you know, the darkness, the, the pregnancy mask, I started learning all of these words, you know, pregnancy mask, um, uh, hyperpigmentation that comes along with having kids. I never knew that that was a thing. So yeah, and then let's circle back to me having my second. I'm like, mm -mm, what happened the first time? It definitely isn't happening the second time around, okay? Yeah, being, uh, uh, bearing in mind that I'm obsessed about skincare, I was not blank about it. So I was like, okay, this second time around, I'm going to put in a lot more effort, if you know. And yeah, it um, having my second, like three, four months postpartum, post my skin looks like, my skin looked 80% better than it did the first time I had a baby. And I was like, okay, I've got this thing on deck. <laughs> and um, that's a little story about me having my third, I've been able to, you know, properly care for myself because in my own words, self-care to me is skincare. That is, that is personally, that's what uh, self-care is to me. Self-care yes. is skincare. So yeah, this third time around, I've been able to, you know, uh, take, I've been, I've, I've had control on, you know, getting to work on my skin, to improve my skin, because definitely the, the, my personal experience, the, the, the pregnancy mask will always happen with me. My belly is going to get five shades darker, but the good news is this time around, second two months postpartum, my belly has cleared up a lot. My neck has literally cleared up. So I'm very, very proud of myself that I'm putting in the work and I'm seeing the results. But yeah, I've lived in Dubai for almost seven years. And yeah, that's it. My little family is based here. I am into skincare. I have helped 
over, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but I've helped over 250 men, women, children with their wow. skin. Wow, congratulations. Things. Oh, that I is also good. Sing. Thank you. Thank you. And just to mention also that I started this, I celebrated my one year anniversary in January. So I've been doing this for like a year and some months and I've been able to work with, if I combine all my clients, like my master, the, 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 the clients I've had with my master classes and then the one-on-ones I've worked with over 250 people. Oh, great. That is good. People come because the results are good. The reason people are coming back to you is because you're doing a good job. And again, on your page on Instagram, I saw people, some of your clients who came back to show their before and afters. And I was like, wow, this is good. So I'm happy mm -hmm. that I'm happy for you. I'm glad that you're doing this on yourself and not only keeping this to yourself and being able to give back. Mm -hmm. That's probably what attracted me to you. It's more like, mm -hmm. okay, she probably saw these changes on her body. I think I listened to one of your videos and you were talking about that. And you did not keep that to yourself. You decided to help other people out there who might be having similar skin issues. So that is good. That is what we call giving yeah. back. Those are the kind of things that intrigue me. And that is why I keep yeah. haunting you, right? So <laughs> I need you to share your story, which is really uh -huh. good. So you're, what you're telling us is your love for skincare and deciding to become a, a skin expert came mm -hmm. from your own experience. Mm -hmm. So it was you trying to take care of your yes. skin and then you decided to mm -hmm. put that out in the world. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. All right. That's awesome. So in the course of doing this, did you, is this something that you have self-taught yourself? Like, is it a self-learned? skill or is it something that you had to go do a skin course or again all those things I'm not the best at them but <laughs> <laughs> let me know how you came to where you are today okay um very I've been in Dubai for seven years mm -hmm. while in Cameroon I've always loved skincare but while in Cameroon I'm never like took any courses but I was very particular about I've been to literally over like 20 spas in Douala like yeah. you know it's it's intriguing to me like to see a new spa I try a new spa when I earn my at the end of every month because while in Cameroon I was working I was based in Douala at the end of every month I treat myself you know this 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 girl has got to do her nails and I've got to do a face um a facial so um I was very particular about doing my facials, but at the same time, I've always loved skincare. I remember I've always, um, one of my friends in Cameroon, she was struggling with acne and everything, you know, I would grab her, I'll be like, come, let me, you know, even if you don't want to go for the facial, let me do you a home facial. Yeah. I'll literally do her, home. I, I know, I know the, I know all the steps for a facial, by the way, <laughs> I know all the steps for a facial. So I'll be like, no, come, I need to, you know, cleanse your face. We need to, I'll carefully, you know, I'll take the cotton pads wrap around my fingers pop her acne i'll tell her now i need to steam your face put your head in a bucket with hot water the steam is going to open your pores and stuff like <laughs> yeah so i did all of those while in cameroon and then when i moved to dubai you know i picked up a nine to five that kept me very busy i lost track of you know the the the, the obsession or the love for skincare and then when i had my kids that's when you know i you know i had that newfound love again but Prior to me working with my clients and everything, yes, I've taken courses. I wanted to get to know more. I wanted to, you know, to know to, to know more is to do better. So I, I took up some courses to get to understand the skin. Um, more, yeah, more uh, to be specific, melanin skin. Yeah, you know, because yeah, in the past, I may have known that this works for me, but I everybody's skin is different you're not That's going right. to have my skin type so for me to be able to help you I needed to I needed to learn I needed to learn something new so yes I had to take courses and yeah that's how I've been able to serve my clients like a, di a diverse group of people people mm -hmm. with dry skin normal skin combination skin sensitive skin you know because personally I could use literally any product on earth, except that that product is the worst of the worst category. It's not, it's not really going to damage my skin, but there are people out there that if they use one 
product that has a bad ingredient in it or the wrong formulation, you know, or the wrong percentage of ingredients in it is going to react on their skin. So yeah, yeah I had to, I had to take up some courses. Yeah. Oh, great. So um, is there any way, can you tell us about maybe a few kind of skin issues that you've been able to tackle with your, like with this again, not going in specific to talk about anybody's skin issue, but maybe what are some, I mm -hmm. know that um, the person whose kid was on Instagram that I saw the, the baby suffered from eczema. So are there, other, yes. are there, are there any skin, specific skin um issues oh god i'm trying to find the words in your skin world your skin <laughs> are there any specific skin issues That's that fine. you have come in um, contact with mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay okay so um a lot of my clients uh or a lot of the people that even contact me even just for inquiries you know to see if i can help them number one um melanin skin most often is uh uneven uneven skin tone that's what i mean by that so for example you see one part is darker than the other maybe your neck the neck is darker than the face the hands are darker than the, than the chest yes. the knees are darker you know so number one is going to be uh uneven skin tone and then because melanin skin people or black skin people think that black don't crack lots of them do not protect their skin aka they don't wear sunscreen so that leads to what hyperpigmentation i'm like mm, sweet well on, on every session i'm like you know what your black is going to crack if you don't use sunscreen you need to protect your skin if you don't want this black to crack start protecting your skin yeah. so the typical issues generally is going to be discoloration sunburn um hyperpigmentation with the babies almost every mom that has booked a session with me is because that child has two issues mainly that child has either eczema prone skin or that try has that child has very very dry skin right. like they feel like when they apply lotion after a couple of hours this the, the baby's skin is really really dry mm -hmm. so yeah those are some of the issues that i would say um are very common generally with my clients yeah that's nice thanks for sharing that again just so that people listening will know that hey if this is something you can definitely book a session with funk and dolly mm -hmm. and have her and how does this work how do you how do you consult i know you have okay. clients all over the world even in cameroon you have clients in cameroon how how does it work how do you do it okay so um first of all let me say i'm a small business i'm a one-man show i literally do everything by myself and um as of now i am very instagram works for me i am not i i am not trying to overwhelm myself to be on every social media platform no, you are out a there. New mom. um <laughs> exactly <laughs> so i am very much um present on instagram so the way it works if you well, first of all most of my clients are, are word of mouth word of mouth clients and to me that means a lot because it means that whatever i'm doing is working is working you know um yeah so that's the first thing so for clients to reach out to me a lot of the clients they reach out via dm so the dm me or um i also do lives i come on uh, live on instagram a lot to just chat about skin you know to just share this information so i do share free information same as you know for me to be able to help somebody one-on-one -on -one, they would have to pay me so um typically the way it works the client dms me or i have a link i have like a link on my bio on instagram where you can simply click on that link and you schedule a session with me yeah. my sessions are virtual that's why i'm able to have a session a session with literally anybody in the world no matter where you are because we do like zoom sessions so you just need to book your session you make the payment on the day of the Zoom, it's automated. Like you get a reminder that you have a session with me and then we jump on that session and we get to do the session. So yeah, that's how, honestly, that's how, that's how it works. You simply yeah. DM me or you simply click the link in my bio 
to schedule a, to schedule a session. But generally, a lot of my clients, they prefer to be first. Some send me pictures, some get to ask me, like they get to tell me their skin issues and to ask me like, can I, is this something I can do? And assessing that because one thing I make it very clear with myself, not everybody's my client. I cannot help everybody out there. So I love the I love the fact that I get to interact with the client prior to them even booking a session so that okay. I am able to determine if, if I can help them or if I can't. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I saw the currently link on your Instagram. I actually clicked on it yeah. to try how it oh. works because I am that <laughs> curious. So yes, okay. if you check out Funk and Dolly's Instagram, if you're interested in booking a session with her, there is a Calendly link on her Instagram bio, which you can click and book a section a session with her. I actually clicked on that to see because I have a curious <laughs> mind. So yeah, good job on that. And so there is this virtual whole thing like you do pictures then you can do virtual con um, consultations as well oh great mm -hmm. that's nice and when you're talking of skincare it's not just face right it's the whole body it's not just face it's, yeah oh okay exactly, <laughs> exactly yes <laughs> It's, it's, yeah, it's face, it's face, it's face and body um, because lots of people have that question as well because, you know, a good number of the clients, they, they get to me mostly because of their face. And then during the session, I'm like, okay, um, we are done with the face, but let's talk about the body because you know the face cannot be all, be glowing your mm -hmm. face cannot be all clear glowing and then the body is left behind yeah so yeah it's another thing i would like for you to okay i have heard you ask other people this question on your live videos <laughs> or on your interviews mm -hmm. and so it's time for me to ask you that question too right so if yes. you were going out on a vacation like somebody just i said hey dolly pack up your bags and you have to come to the u.s for something Two items that you'll take with you. Two of your skin skincare items that you know you'll take with you, just two, nothing more. What would you take? Um, I would the first thing, no, without thinking, sunscreen. Sunscreen, sunscreen should be like toothpaste to you or your toothbrush, the same way you would brush your teeth every morning. That's how sunscreen works. So the first thing is sunscreen. The next thing is complicated. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Some, okay <laughs> first one would have to be sunscreen the second is going to have to be a cleanser i need to be able to apply sunscreen on clean skin so yeah a cleanser and then sunscreen yeah okay that's that's great i'm talking about sunscreen right i know that that's something that a lot of us don't I started using sunscreen when I worked for Estee Lauder for a minute, uh, for a minute, for some time I worked for Estee Lauder and that's how I learned a little bit about skincare and stuff like that. I'm not very particular about it, but I try, <laughs> you get it? Mm -hmm. um, I try, but I was talking to somebody just a few days ago and they're like, what do I need sunscreen for? So there's a ton of people out here who still don't believe that us melanin queens and kings, we need sunscreen. Most of us with dark skin, we just feel that, yeah, we have enough melanin that is going to fight the sun and we don't need sunscreen. Please, can you talk a little bit about the importance of sunscreen to us? Okay. First things first, let me first of all say this. Um, it, melanin skin or black people, they are not wrong to think that their melanin naturally protects them from the sun. That is accurate because the melanin is um, synonymous to like almost SPF 15. Just, just the fact that you have, you know, melanin. Yeah. Okay. The, the melanin is synonymous to uh, a certain amount of SPF. So yes, we are not wrong, but this is where this is where Africans don't get it. That SPF 15 is not enough to protect you from skin cancer, to protect you from um, hyperpigmentation. That's why you see, I have some clients that reach out to me. They're like, um, Dolly, I'm booking a session because I don't lighten my skin in any way, but I have dark knuckles. And I'm like, mm, honey, you need, SPF in your life. You're simply, your skin, you're suffering from discoloration or uneven skin tone simply because you're not protecting your skin. Mm -hmm. That's it, simple. 
I don't mean to, I don't mean to exaggerate, but in my opinion, the sun is the devil. That's how much damage the sun does. The sun is going to aid you, um, not to disrespect anybody who does any kind of job that requires them to spend longer hours under the sun. But if you take somebody who works, you know, um, indoors and somebody who spends a lot of time outdoors, the person, if the person that spends a lot of time outdoors doesn't protect their skin, they are going to look older than the person who stays indoors. Yeah. Li like literally, if you want, you try it out. If you want, take note of your skin throughout summer and then you compare with your skin throughout winter. Mm -hmm. You're going to notice that your skin texture and everything is different. Yep. So I agree with those that. are, <laughs> for me to... Yes, for me to make, if I am going to be able to convince anybody on this session, especially the men, women, children, everything, if you don't want to look older than your age, apply sunscreen. That's the first thing. The sun ages you. Number two, skin cancer is real. Like skin cancer is a real thing. Apply, apply sunscreen because because of that. And number three, if you are trying to have even toned skin, no matter the kind of products you're using, even if you're using good old Dove, and personally, I am using a brightening soap, you know, both of us need to apply sunscreen just to protect the skin as well so that you have even toned skin. Like your feet should be the same complexion like your face. Your feet should be the same complexion like your chest. And another simple but realistic proof, you know, to make anybody listening to this podcast to use sunscreen on a daily basis is look at the skin on your chest and compare with the skin on your arms. Most likely they wouldn't be the same. Why is the chest brighter? You know, why is the skin on your chest your ideal skin complexion? Com yes. Because the, the, the yeah, it's protected. It's protected. It's up. It's covered up constantly. You know. Yeah, so that's that's what I would like to talk about sunscreen. And another reason why um, Black people do not particularly like to apply sunscreen is because they feel like it leaves a white cast. Well, hello, we are currently in 2022. A lot of skincare companies have been able to uh, come up with... Um, formulas that do not leave a white cast you're not going to look like a ghost there are lots of sunscreens on the market that are invisible like they literally melt into your skin nobody would know that you're wearing sunscreen and also let me even go the extra mile to share this information for free if you are a mom and you're like mm, you're listening to this and you're like mm, they like baby girl, I don't have time to, to wear no sunscreen. My kids are literally driving me crazy. Guess what? That's why uh, sunscreen sprays are a thing. You don't have to put on the sunscreen that's like a liquid and, you, and you're massaging it into your skin and it's taking it five, 10 minutes in your day. And yeah, you just spray the, sun, spray the sunscreen and you keep it going. So yeah, oh. I don't think anybody in the world has an excuse not to use sunscreen. Everybody should be using sunscreen basically <laughs> yeah and this is somewhere it's around the corner it's getting hard around here for those that are mm -hmm. in the diaspora somewhere is here so you want to make sure that you add sunscreen to your bag and darling mm -hmm. when you're talking of sunscreen right mm -hmm. i use sunscreen but only on my face is sunscreen necessary for the body as well <laughs> absolutely absolutely sunscreen is not just for the face um mm -hmm now because because lots of people that this is the thing this is let me quickly state the reason why because some some people on this podcast will be like mm, i give out this information for free so why would somebody pay me you know the reason why people pay me is because for example there's mo some spray sunscreens are very shiny so somebody who is struggling with acne prone skin that sunscreen can go and clog their pores and cause them to break out some more mm -hmm. um so yeah that's why people pay me because again there are there is there are so many different sunscreens on the market that those sunscreens even are for different skin types sunscreen that let's say for example you have dry skin the sunscreen that you would use for your dry skin is completely different from the sunscreen that i would use for my oily skin mm -hmm. so if if somebody on here is just listening to this podcast and then they hear okay funkeng dolly has told everybody to use sunscreen they just jump they go buy a certain type of sunscreen that is not for their skin type and then they use it and then they break out they'll be like mm, what did funkeng dolly lead me to do like this girl she's misleading me no i'm not misleading you is because there are different types of sunscreens for different types of skin and yes 
there is um there are sunscreens for the face listen sunscreens are even expensive they are not even cheap in the first place if you're going to get your expensive sun Mm -hmm. if you're going to get your expensive sunscreen meant for your face and you use it on your body you you would run out very fast so what i recommend is get a good sunscreen for your face because this face is never covered right this face is forever exposed so get a good sunscreen for the face and then you can get uh, an affordable one for the body that you just spray body sounds the the spray ones for the body and then a much more suitable one for your skin type for the face yeah yeah so again so, yes please let me cut you short there dali for mm-hmm. those of you who yes you've heard that sunscreen is good for us you want mm-hmm. to know what kind of sunscreen is good for you what kind is good for your face depending on your skin type what kind is good for your skin mm-hmm. Hey, this is when you reach out to Dolly. This is when you slide into her DM and book a session with her because Mm -hmm. that is what she does. This is where the skin expert comes in now and says, hey, for this skin type you have, this is the kind of sunscreen you want to use. And again, Mm -hmm. probably Dolly, I hope you do go as far as recommending stuff to people depending on their budget because as we just said it, sunscreen is not cheap. It is yes. not the cheapest thing you get on the market. So again, yes. this is why you want to book a session with her and get to talk in more detail about what is good for your skin and how to protect mm-hmm. your skin. Yeah, so mm-hmm. thank you so much, Dolly, for answering the, that question because personally, when I was talking to you, I did not even know that. So as I always say, I'm always part of, I'm always a beneficiary of my sessions when I talk to people as well. So that's the good part of my podcast, so Thank you so much for sharing that information. Yes, I cut you short because I needed to give that quick <laughs> shout out. But yes, go ahead and say oh, what you thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. And also, let me quickly, again, and then when, I, when I'm, because some people will be like, mm, what does she mean by different types of sunscreens? There, there are mattifying sunscreens. There are hydrating sunscreens. There are sunscreens that even brighten your skin. There are the technology, like there, so much technology has gone into skincare that there are particular sunscreens for even acne prone skin, you know? So yeah, if you are buying sunscreen, take a little bit, spend a little bit uh, of time what what you're actually buying and you are confused if you don't know where to start because this is another issue this is another issue um some of the clients come to me only after they have spent so much money and nothing is working you don't have to you don't you don't have to do trial and error you know there, there, there is no reason for you to do trial and error just do it once and do it right if you don't know where to start from simply come to me and then i will put you on the right path and boom your skincare journey starts great awesome that is that is good that's why you are the expert here that's why you have spent the time that you've spent to um learn all of those things people like me don't know you don't know all of those details so that is good another thing i like for us to talk about if you don't mind is we all see the plethora of skincare products that are hitting the market these days. Mm-hmm. I've not used them. I've used some. I don't really, I'm not, as I said, I'm not very particular. I, I don't have favorites, right? When it comes to skincare, I just try I, to use nice, I like body butters. So I like to use wee body butters on my skin a lot. Mm-hmm. So it just depends, but we have seen I don't know if you have, but I have seen a lot of different kinds of skincare products that are mm-hmm. hitting the market today, especially from our home country, Cameroon. We have a lot of people that are making skincare, they are making mm-hmm. skin lotion and all of that. Are you in a place where do you, when you do your consultations, do you kind of work with companies like this to say, hey, some of the products that they are making, you can recommend to your clients. Is that something that you have considered? Because for some of those products, I've read really nice reviews about them. Some I've read some mm-hmm. really ugly ones. It's a mixture of things, just like any other sector in the world, right? There's going to mm-hmm. be the good products are going to be the bad ones. But I've actually mm-hmm. read some right, nice reviews about a couple of them. Have you at any point in this, um, your journey as a skin expert, had to work, had to maybe have a collab or work with any of these skincare companies? 
Is that something that um, you have done or you are interested in doing? Let me put it that way. Absolutely. Part of um, like um, me doing this is because I'm genuinely interested in skincare. I'm genuinely interested in trying new products, you know. Um, am I interested to work with Cameroonian brands? Absolutely. I'm open for like a collaboration. I'm open to trying out their products, telling them what I think, because listen, it's a win-win. I get to put money in your pockets because my clients are going to buy your products if I tell them to buy your products. So yeah, um, let me just quickly shout out a Cameroonian brand, uh, female-owned, Shoko Skin. Shoko oh, Skin, Shoko. I, have okay. put, I have put, yeah, I've put a lot of money in their pockets because their products are good. I have used them. They sent me like a PR package. So yeah, sometime in 20, 2020, I think they, yeah, they sent me like a really nice package. They do oils, they do, um, they do uh, black soaps. So yeah, they've sent me a really nice uh, PR package. I use their products. I absolutely loved their products. It's meant for almost every every skin type. So yeah, I'm open to have collaborations. I'm open to do product reviews, to give feedback to these companies. Yeah. But one thing I would, one thing I would say is, um, my integrity is everything because I am working with people's skin, yes. you know? So even if, uh, yeah, even if let's say, I'm just putting it out there. Even if you go on my Instagram platform, are you ever see paid collaboration with this brand? It's probably because in the background, they've had to send me products. I've had to test those products, you know. I've had to tell them my feedback and everything. And I feel that I can be able to, you know, confidently put out that product and associate my name to that brand. So, yeah. Cameroonians, Cameroonians are doing a lot of good. Uh, Cameroonians are doing good products. Some, I'm like, hmm because my yes. clients and I, they're like, mm, no, this one didn't just work out for me at all. And then there are other ones that are, are, that are really, really good. Yep. There we go. I'm glad that you gave your perspective again as a skin expert, because I know I see on I see it on social media, you talk about them, people, it works for some people, it doesn't work for some people, as well as it's just, it just ties on to the same thing you said, right, depending on your skin type, you don't just go to the market and you buy it because this person bought it and it worked for them, then you go and you buy the same product because that person mm -hmm. bought it and it worked for them. Sometimes mm -hmm. you might be lucky and that tumbu tumbu yeah. as we call it will work, <laughs> but at the same time, it might just be the opposite for you. So yeah. yeah, that has actually happened to me before I bought the body lotion and I used it and I recommended it to my little sister. She bought it and she almost killed me. <laughs> it was good for me, but it did not work for her to get it. So because we don't have, we, we could be sisters, but we don't have the same skin type. Right? Yes. So it just, thank you. It is really nice. I love that we're talking about this. I love that you're open to supporting um, Cameroonian owned businesses. I've seen that a lot coming up. And again, we always say in the US, I've heard a lot of support um, black owned businesses. And I will say whenever I have an opportunity, mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, yeah, also support Cameroonian owned businesses because we, I see that Cameroonians are stepping up the game, right? We, at one point in life, we were just where we sat and we talked about Nigerians. Everything we talked about was how Nigeria was doing this. But I've seen that Cameroonians are also stepping up and doing their own stuff, which I really appreciate. Mm -hmm. And getting, um, creating contacts with people like you, depending on whatever we is doing, that you can have somebody that is an expert or that will give you their honest review is very important. Mm -hmm. So this is to those um, skincare business owners out there who own skin products. Being able that you find the people who will review your product, use them and review your products honestly, will actually just open up the market for you. For example, if somebody like me, I went online and I was looking for a skincare product. And because I've seen what you have done, Dolly, I have seen, I've listened to honest reviews that people have left. If you said that, hey, ABC is a good product, I bet you that I will come to you and say, hey, Dolly, what do you think about this? Like, because I trust what you do, right? So yes, I just yeah. think that it is a good thing while we are doing our small businesses to collaborate with each other 
understanding that people are awesome in the different in their different fields and just make mm -hmm. use of the knowledge that we all have so i'm glad that you are open to that and you've even done that for you said choco skin yes yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that is that is awesome i'm so happy that you're doing that this is great dolly i appreciate is there any other thing about skincare one one little nugget that you want to give to this my listeners that are on here today and learning more about their skin Anything you want to share before we go to my signature question for the podcast? Um, I think I've shared pretty much, um, pretty much everything. I have covered the single most important product that everybody should be using come summer, which is um, sunscreen. So yeah, if you are interested in doing just more than the basic, which is AKA washing your body, applying body lotion and applying sunscreen, then that is where I come in because, you know, like I said, during summer, um, after black skin, we get so people even think that black skin we don't get tanned we get tanned that's why you get darker in the summer you know and a lot of my clients actually during a lot of the clients that i've worked with uh, uh, prior to winter i'm currently doing a lot of follow-up sessions for them because they want to because oh the routine you do a little nugget your winter routine is going to be completely different from your summer routine oh my god lots of <laughs> lots of people don't know that yeah, the, the I don't know that completely... you don't have to go far I don't know that I do the same thing from December from January 1st to December 1st December 31st to them Dolly just <laughs> no no I always tell my clients use winter to prep for your summer skin because guess what during winter you're covering up your skin a lot right mm -hmm. if you have a good good routine going on with the proper skin Skin, um, uh, skin care with the proper products, with, with the proper ingredients in those products, your summer body is going to be banging, like seriously. And then during summer, we need to switch up those products because during the winter, I am very, very focused on nourishing your skin because during some a winter, a lot of people experience very dry skin. Yeah. So during summer, I am very focused on nourishing your skin for you, for your skin to be healthy. You know, it's not just about brightening the skin or lightening the skin or treating this hyperpigmentation or this dark spot. We, the core, my, my focus during the winter is to nourish the skin. And then come summer, Come summer, I focus, I switch up the products to take out those heavy creams and all of that. I alternate during the summer because you're sweating a lot. Yeah. If you carry like some very thick creams and you apply on your skin, and let's say, for example, you have acne prone skin, you're going to start breaking out because your pores are going to be congested. So during summer, we switch up those products. We change, uh, we up the SPF as well, the sunscreen. We switch up the sunscreen as well, you know, so yeah. Winter routine is completely different from the summer routine. Those are, and lots of my clients have experienced changes even. Your, do you even realize that your body changes during these two seasons? You can literally go from dry skin during the winter to like normal skin, or you may even go oily during the summer. Because your skin type has changed, you need to also change your products. Yeah. Wow. This is yeah. serious business, Dolly. This is, not, <laughs> <laughs> this is serious business for real. It's not just my everyday cleanse and tone and lotion there is just i think uh -uh. what you're talking about is serious business <laughs> yeah oh great thank you so much for sharing those nuggets this is really good stuff and again most of the times we just worry about hey how does my makeup look how does this look we forget to know that your makeup looks on the kind of skin you put makeup on really really matters it's not yes sometimes you wonder if the makeup product is a product that is not good but man, it is a skin that you're putting that makeup on. So you got to take care of that skin as well. Mm -hmm. So this is really nice. Dolly, this is that point where I call on you to talk to somebody. Hey, before we go to that, where um, I just want to give you to give that shout out to like, where can the listeners find you? I know we mentioned your IG, but please just go ahead and um, reiterate on that. If somebody were to reach out to you, what is the best way for them to reach out to you? 
on um on all my social media platforms my name is Funkeng Dolly so if you just if you look up Funkeng Dolly you're going to easily find me yeah simply by looking up Funkeng Dolly yeah that's the that's the easiest way for you to find me on all social media platforms I used to have a YouTube channel so you can even find me on YouTube I used to have a YouTube channel but you know Mom life took over and that channel is on hold for now. But yeah, just looking up Funk and Dolly, be it on Instagram, be it on Facebook. If you reach out, if you just DM me on any of these platforms, I'm going to answer you. Yeah. Awesome. Hashtag mom life. Good luck with that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's great. All right, girl. This is that time where you get to talk to someone out there. I like to put my listener, my guests on the spot to throw some words of motivation to inspire someone out there with consider yourself that you're standing on a podium in the world and you're blessed with a speaker to talk to someone out there this is when i give you that mic and say dolly someone is listening someone is waiting to be inspired by you at this moment um if i had to say something to anyone out there i would precisely be talking to any mother out there I know it gets overwhelming. I know you could easily lose yourself in the process, but let me tell you something, just a simple reminder. You already know this, but I know that a lot of us don't get to practice this day in, day out. You cannot pour from an empty cup. When you take care of yourself, a happy mama is a happy home, is a happy family. Everybody else is happy when you are happy, you know take care of yourself, pour into yourself, do what makes you happy. Um, by doing what makes you happy, you would not necessarily be in your comfort zone. I don't get to do my skincare routine because I have all the time in the world. I have three kids on that three. As I do this podcast, my first turns three this month, wow. but I have made it clear in my entire home when I look at myself in the mirror and I love what I see, I see a work in progress. I get to see that the pregnancy mask is fading off. I love the person that I am. You know, I am happier. My husband is happier. The kids are happier. So I just want to tell you this, no matter how much is happening around you, get to take care of yourself because until you do that, trust me, you may think that you're taking perfect care of the others around you but you're not until you get to pour into yourself that is the only time when you are going to be able to serve the people around you you know with you in your like with your most authentic in your most authentic self like so long as you love what you see in the mirror you're going to be genuinely happy from within that is one thing i would say i would like to talk to all the moms out there because i know that millennial moms listen we have the nine to five we have the families and then you want your kids to look extra good you know you have all of these expectations that society has you know placed on you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my kids you know my kids simply have to be fed they have to be clean they have to be healthy and happy that's it period I, I, I don't try to do more than that I just need them to be fed I need them to be healthy I need them to be happy and that's it. Mm. And I'm able to do that because personally I'm fed. I can only breastfeed my child if I feed myself. So I feed myself first, I bathe myself first, and then I'm able to do that as well for my kids and for my family as a whole. So yeah. That is awesome. Those are some huge ones. To think that she is in her 20 something. Hmm? <laughs> like she has three kids and she can talk about life like this. Like you, you sound like an experienced mother. That's why sometimes in life they say experience is not, age is just a number. What matters is what you're doing, what you're able to do. So Dolly, mm -hmm. I thank you so much for giving those wise words i thank you for sharing the skincare nuggets you have just shared on the podcast today and again my dear listeners do not hesitate to book a session with funk and dolly i bet that you're going to come back and say hey solange thank you for bringing dolly up and thank you for introducing her to us and now i love my skin thank you dolly for being my guest Thank you, Solange. Thank you so much for having me on here. I am um, somewhat very picky on which platforms on which platforms I go on, just because I need to I need to relate with that person. You know, I I, I 
whatever I do, I follow my God. My God, my, my, you know, my God was like, mm, this is going to be a good one. You're going to have fun on her platform. She channels positive energy. I went through your, I went through your podcast prior to just the name. You can be anything. I was like, mm, mm, it's good stuff. This is, yeah, this sounds so yeah. Honestly, this sounds so good. Yeah. So yeah, thank you so much for doing what you do, for being a breath of fresh air. And I am really, really thrilled to have come on your platform, you know, to share, to share my story. So yeah, thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for saying yes, because not everybody does say yes, but for True. saying yes to me. And a chat mm-hmm. notice joining the call and us doing this. I appreciate mm-hmm. you so much. Thank you yeah. again. Thank you.